All right, we're back at the On to Baghdad table. And uh, looking over everything, thinking about all those uh, units that didn't have any supply. And I don't understand the supply better. We're only in the, the first part of turn one. We have redone this game also. And uh, this is the initial setup. Uh, and, you know, you go through these games, you learn them out and feel them out. And once you get through them, little bit of turns one or two you're like oh you know I did that all wrong so in the interest of playing the game the way the designer intended a couple notes uh, that I noticed is they have a supply point here and I had some kind of a oh where is it there you go supplied marker in there so that's that was wrong right then in there so uh, another thing is we were deploying units and knowing we know now I'm gonna keep the cavalry here. And uh, this is the new deployment, knowing how the game works. Uh, the only difference is I put that Kuwaiti unit to where that city there, where the Ottoman green unit is, is under siege. He was under siege from this year anyway, but a little double envelopment. Uh, also, as far as the uh, pro uh, Ottoman rebels, we're going to get a little spot down there now that we know that they can only come in in the Persian Gulf. So, uh, and his mechanized units can't come in where the swamp is, being i.e. his supply. So that's a pretty strategic spot for the pro-Ottoman militias or rebels. And we got another spot here. Now, one of the uh, criteria was that the pro-Ottoman pro rebels could be in the oil spots. So you can see here, the British are in charge of the oil fields at Abadan and it did it, it specifically rules specifically stated that the pro central power rebels couldn't be in the oil spots but it did not say anything about the uh, pro British or the allied um, rebels so I went ahead and put them at that two of them and this one here it said they couldn't stack them so it didn't say nothing about stacking or any oil field restrictions so that is what we've got going on there. It's more so strategic. That's the way it should be. Now that we know where the fighting is coming from. So, we were getting ready to move on up through the first turn of this game also. And you got time. You know, you just kind of sit down here and look at everything and think, you know, now that you know what's going on. But So this will be a restart of On to Baghdad. And I'm really getting into it. I'm going to switch on over to that uh, uh, Mediterranean Empires because I'm really getting into that game too. And that's just it. I was listening to those guys from Players Aid where, you know, it's more of a cranking out the burgers. You know, what do they say with McDonald's, a billion sold, or <laughs> billion served? They don't get to enjoy the game. You know, I played that Kingdom of Empire, or Kingdom of Heaven. I enjoyed that thing for a year. I mean, I really got into it. I know the ins and outs of that game. And I think Grant was talking about how, you know, he would kind of regret it if they go through the games, but they do it for the audience, you know, so they can get a bunch of games cranked through and give them reviews. But bunch of these games that he'd like to sit back but we don't have that problem here on the gaming garavaglia channel we're going to enjoy and look at the ins and outs and nuances of all these games and uh we'll be back with the uh, allied first turn